Hey guys, I'm Ronnie, and um, I'm about to do something that is very, very scary. I mean, I probably should tell you guys first, if you didn't know already, that I am a homosexual male, and I'm fortunate enough that my mom's a lesbian, and all my friends, well not all my friends, but a lot of my friends are in the LGBT community, so I never really have problems with being who I am and coming out or anything. I never had a big giant coming out story like I'm sure some of you had. And um, it's been hard because my dad hasn't really been around and it was hard for me in high school to deal with that, but honestly, I really learned how to just push him out of my head and just worry about my mom. And my mom did a great job playing both roles, so I never really had an issue. But something that's been holding on to me for a while, which was, I always wondered what he would have thought or said about me if I came out to him. Like, would he just be like, you know, I love you, as simple as that. Or would he have an issue with it? So, when I was younger, I grew up with cousins who were female. And, you know, they used to play house and like with Barbies and like, I don't know, uh, different things. And I enjoyed doing those things too, but my dad never really liked me doing that and every time I would do it, he would get mad at me for doing that. I don't know, it was just what I liked to do, you know. I always wondered if he would have accepted me now. Now that time has passed, it's been five years since we talked. Um, every birthday goes by and every father and son tournament you know, golfing tournament goes by or whatever, and I always think about him, and it's sad because I always wonder, you know, why, why did we stop talking? Why did he not make an attempt to c contact me? But I had to just accept it because I can't keep letting him come in, come in and out of my life anymore. I'm gonna call my dad, and you know, see how he's doing and let him know that I am gay in hopes that he might have, you know, understood things differently now that you've seen a lot of things and years has gone by. Maybe he might accept me and I'm not trying to have him back into my life so quickly because it took a lot for me to get him out of my life. But at least I just want to be able to know that he would have accepted me. So, funny thing is I still know my dad's number by heart, unless he changed it. So, let's do this. I can't even like do this. Hello. Hello. Is this uh Kyoko? You know who this is? Yeah, I know what's there. How you doing? What's, what's up with you? I'm just uh, chilling. I just felt the need that I needed to call you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking That's right. I saw you online. You saw me online? Yeah, I said you home. Yeah, you've been doing some funny videos. <laughs> you see my videos? Oh, you do? Yeah. How are you doing? You still in the business? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still videoing. Um, I got a Canon, I got a Canon 5D now. Um, oh. but I want a black magic. I'm making the money. <laughs> yeah, that would be 
cool. Yeah, I have a Canon T3i, nothing special, but it, it works. Yeah, right. Um, so, um, how's the kids and everything? How's Dakia? Uh, yeah, that's good. I, I hope she. I'm doing well. I um, transferred. Oh, so you coming back here? Yeah, I'm coming back. So, um, I don't know, I mean, we haven't talked for like a while and we've missed a lot of things in each other's lives. Yeah, that's for sure. So, I just, um, just wanted to see how you felt about me and, uh, I don't know if you know already, but that I'm gay. with it because you're in that entertainment field and you like know people like me so you know you've been exposed to all that and I have friends of mine right, right. who come to me for spiritual advice that, that might not think that, that some of my some of my what I call gay friends but I don't really call them gay I call them people that practice the lifestyle and it's like some of them know that hey this ain't necessarily you know what I'm saying what I will consider right I'm talking about them what they would say but this is what I did so I don't I don't have no issues with them and they don't have no issues with me but they'll come to me for information because they know I'm not a judgmental type of person you know what I'm saying I'm more of a is what it is I'm gonna give you the knowledge of what is right or wrong but I got issues of my own so that's how I carry myself so you know? do you do you not feel that oh, the LGBT community is a, a right thing like, do you do you consider that not right for you, personally? You not well, not even about me. I'm just saying, like in general, do you see LGBT people of practice or whatever? Is it? What do you What do you mean LGBT? Like lesbian, gay, bi, transgender. All right, this is all right, all right, all right. Put it like this: from a standard, like from a from a moral standard, right? Mm -hmm. I knew it was morally incorrect, meaning that I know the reason for. God wanted it to be a man and a woman because of the fact that he wants civilization to go a certain way and, and um, he wants the standard to be a certain way. But, but, I don't, I don't judge people. In 1996, right, mm -hmm. the government of the United States made what was called a gay bomb. You can look it up. Okay. And they was going to drop, the, they was going to drop this thing on Iraq. And the reason why they was going to drop it on, but they couldn't get the money from Congress, so they said, right? right? But what it would do was instantly, no matter how straight the man was, no matter how much he liked women, he would lose that, and he would automatically, um, he would automatically want men. The reason why they did that is because of the fact is it would bring his testosterone count down, would make some war and fight, and 
So, so you're saying so that losing the tos testosterone and liking a man is seen more as passive and weak and less of a man? Not, I don't look at them as less of men. I look at it, but when, I'm talking about in war. Like when, 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 I'm not talking about what I saw, I'm talking about the reason why they made the bomb. Okay. It's a difference when, when a man no longer feels like a man. There's a difference between a man no longer feeling like a man and a man actually practicing a certain practice because they happen to like it. So, um, like I say, this winter lifestyle, I get back to that. The difference between what you're saying and what I feel is that that swinger lifestyle was a certain phase in your life. I felt this way as if it was normal. Like, I felt, hold on, I, I'm sorry. I felt when I was, like, young, I didn't understand what gay, lesbian, all this stuff meant. But now when I'm an adult and I have knowledge and I know why I didn't did certain things and looked at certain things when I was younger differently is it makes sense to me now that I felt this way ever since I was young really young just didn't know how to put it in words I totally, uh, I totally um, understand it I saw where you was going right but I was trying to expose the information to you trying to throw the curve because now only was you going in a direction you know you had family that was in the in the Exactly. So you saw that I was going towards a, that certain path, that gay lifestyle, or, or have you not? I want to say gay lifestyle. Right. Well, the lifestyle, as you call it. And so I just want to say that the lifestyle, I feel like it's not like, it's, it's no different than any other lifestyle. Straight by, I think it's based off of love. All I can say is that I've always felt this way. And I believe no one had an influence on me being this way, and no religion should tell me that I can't feel this way or shouldn't feel this way. And all that I needed to know tonight was that you still would accept me, and that the unconditional love is still there. I'm damn sure ain't gonna have no hate towards you, no matter what you do, because of the fact that I love you with all my heart, and it's like I ain't been that good to be judging nobody. So I'm nobody. Judge me. I'm nobody. Judge me. I appreciate. I appreciate everything, and um, I mean, I just, I, I don't know, like, you know, if I can just allow us to be so close again, but we definitely have each other's number, and, you know, you always be my dad, and I'll always be your son, so that's how it is. It's that simple. Alright, well, you have yourself a good night, okay? Okay, you do this, so. Take care. So it's been a long day making this video and I'm very happy that I did because I got to see that, you know, even even after so many years, you know, it was just, first of all, nice to hear his voice, but, you know, to see that he still cares about me and loves me no matter, you know, who I date or, you know, who I am. So that's really nice and, um, you know, I hope this video can be helpful to anyone who's scared to come out to their parents. Coming out is just hard in general and no one should have to hide who they are and you know keep who they are a secret no one should waste that precious time and moments with their parents and that their parents should be able to you know deal with it and this is to any parents out there your main job is to love your kids and that's that you might not completely agree with what they're doing or who they date or whatever, but at the end of the day, you need to support them and love them. If they're not hurting anyone else, that's all that should matter. And I hope that anyone who's scared to come out or, you know, scared to, you know, come out to their parents, I hope that this can help them get through, you know, anything. Because everything is going to be alright. As long as you are being who you are and staying true to yourself, that's all that matters. Everything's going to be alright. So thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you share this with anyone you may feel need to watch this. To be inspired to come out. Or just need some help. And uh, I will catch you guys another time. <laughs> and.
and thank you for watching. It means a lot.